What up guys, it is Justice here and welcome to episode number 6 of the RS3 Progress series. And just to kickstart this episode off, I'm going to talk about my next goals on RS3 and my aspirations. Uh, many of you who have tuned in my into my Twitch will have an idea of what those goals currently are. And I've just recently obtained the final boss title which was a real tough grind. Uh, four or five months it took me with the majority of the progress being made over the past month. But moving forward, just to quickly uh, go over the summary, uh, the current goals are 120 magic, building up a next solo drop log up to 100 kills, then moving on to potentially 500, and also DG grinding up to level 115, then moving on to 120. Beginning this episode with a 66 next solo dry streak, I think I'm in need for some lucky RNG. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew I had it, I just didn't know what to say. I was lost for words because I've been going for a drop for so long and everything was going through my mind right there because this fucking Virtus mask. And I had my ring of wealth in my event and I didn't even use it and I got a drop. Oh my God. I don't know. Everything with that was just weird. Like a 2.8 mil next solo drop when I've been grinding for ages and I had a ring of wealth in my inventory. I just basically lost hope that I was never going to get one. But I had a ring of wealth in my inventory. Devon, you're a legend. I didn't even wield it and I went and got a drop. I think it's just the fact that it was in there. It just gave me that good karma. This is confirmed, guys. You do not even need to sell, You do not even need to switch to your ring of wealth. You can just have it in your invent now and it increases your chances. Okay, so I've gained over 3 million magic experience today. Uh, whilst I was editing my final boss achievement um, video. Where I did like a PVM montage. And yeah. I think five, I think three million experience of magic within one day is pretty good, and a lot of that has actually been gained from uh, the Abyss, AFK and the Abyss. But I've been here now, actually at Glacials for the past hour and a half, and I think I'm going to set myself a mini goal of going for the my first Armadil staff. Uh, make that. Um, I'll probably make a couple to be honest over the time of me getting 120 magic, because I probably will come here fairly often when I'm just chilling out, uh, maybe on stream in between PVM sessions or just watching other people stream things like that. And I think the experience here is just phenomenal. Um, I will track it at some point. And I'll also show you the loot I've gained so far. And I'll show you how many kills at Glacials I've done. Because I can track them through the Slayer Beast tab. Uh, which is pretty good. Uh, when I first came here I was a bit of a noob. But I've definitely got the hang of it now. And I'll definitely be coming here more often in the future. Yeah, the XP is just absolutely fantastic. So uh, yep. Yeah, just thought I'd update you with that. And the XP gains are going fantastic at the moment. From my Road to 120 Magic. Yes, just beat my Rise of the Six record. I got my Rise of the Six record about three months ago, which was 1 minute 27. I've not really been here much uh, with speed kills. Um, just managed to get a 122 kill. Uh, finishing up my side on 117 at the moment, so hopefully we'll be able to get even faster within this trip. But having lots of fun here with rot speed kills. Yes, guys, and we've still got the beam there. Armadil crossbow drop in the chat. Let's go. <laughs> the Armadil crossbow hype is real. That's the first time I've ever had an Armadil crossbow drop from Saradamin or Ziliana. Uh, so I'm really happy with that drop. I have no idea how much it's worth. We'll price check it after this kill. Uh, but I'm really happy with that drop, guys. An Armadil crossbow. First one ever on RuneScape. Armadil crossbow, guys, is 1.5 million GP. Okay now, okay. I went dry for about 66 kills on stream. Um, yes, well, over the past three days. And I had been doing next solo a lot on stream. Like, literally three days straight of doing, like, next solos with other things. Managed to eventually, after the huge dry streak and receiving plenty of flax and tour stalls, managed to get myself a Virtus mass drop for 2.8 mil. And then I do next solo just once, just once off stream. And I get a Virtus 1 drop. But still, absolutely over the moon right now. A Virtus 1 drop solo, which is 14. What? 14 mil, is that it? Oh my god, that's gone down so much. But yeah, 14 mil anyway. At least it's a solo drop. And it's a pretty nice one to get. Although there used to be, obviously, back in the day, like 100 mil. And it used to be an amazing drop to get. Now it's just 14 mil. But still very happy to get my very first solo Virtus 1 drop. Okay, so I'm about to go and do some DG with a solid team now for an hour straight. I'll uh, track my XP, which I gain over this hour of Dungeoneering. I've got six uh, or three dailies to do. Uh, I'm going to obviously extend all of those dailies. That's six floors. 
I'll be doing even more floors. We're just going to smash them out over this, this next hour. Uh, I think I'll put like an XP tracker on there. I'll get rid of one of these despite me. Oh, I don't know. I'll figure something out. I'll, I'll track the XP anyway. Um, currently 407k off uh, 106 dunge. Um, so I'll see you guys in an hour. I'll let you know what dungeon experience I gain. It's going to be epic. Uh, dungeon gains. Let's go. Oh, and currently my current progress is 50. So I'm just going to reset that right now. Yes, reset my progress. And we've got my current prestige as 50, which is pretty damn awesome. So now currently the highest floor which I can do is floor 50, which is warped. So we're just going to basically do warps for this hour. Or no, not the whole hour. We've actually got three warps I can do. And then we'll move on to occults. Double DG XP for this floor for the entire party. Bro! Yeah, Remember the last floor which we did and I wanted to change my bind setup so I could have a cat so I could have my catalytic stuff. Yeah, yeah. Are I love I love that celebration when we finally get the ferret room done. It's like, yes! Finally! And we all just like carry on with the room and go our separate ways. Well, I'm dead fucking dead end. Diamonds, I could, really Don't kill me, please! This block. This is completely my fault. I'm just running around like, oh fuck, I'm dead. Good fight. Same. Ten minute warp floor. Let's go! <laughs> David, so flipping zone for those damn pillars way too far. I was everybody's David. 95k XP, damn. Buying Jordan Bank. You. Come on, be a David. Let's go. Wow, 102k XP, I got that one. Holy crap. Okay, so I just smashed out two DG floors, about 102k XP on each one, except for one of them, giving me double XP because somebody in there was able to um, cascade a buff to everybody to double their XP. I think it was one of the cards for the daily cards, which you can get. So I'm going to turn in this challenge right now. 261k experience there for DG, and that is 106 Dungeoneering achieved. Let's go into 107. 2.5 million XP to go. Another floor completed in 8 minutes and 9 seconds. Pretty good going. Even more XP that one, 110k XP. Repot, guys, let's go! Okay, guys, if you're in a ghost room where the monoliths are, um, it's always best to stand in the south um, southwest section because the ghosts do not spawn northeast. Also, if you want elite speed runs, then when you're doing the strength draw, for example, when you do the animation, spam click the anticipate, it will cancel it out, then you can get through the door quicker. 84k XP. He lives off protein shakes and protein bars. <laughs> That's why the stomach, the stomach feeds on protein bars. Well, that's another challenge handed in, 261k XP. Okay, just looking over the XP I gained over that past hour, I in fact gained 1.7 million DG XP within that hour. That's just happened. Yes, I got the beam still, guys. Pernix, Pernix body drop there, next solo. I cannot believe this right now. Uh, 15, I'm tracking my drop log now, basically. Within, I think, 16 next solo kills, I've had a Vertis mask, a Vertis one drop, and now I've got a Pernix body drop after going 66 kills dry. Um, within that sort of streak, I cannot believe it. I went 66 kills dry, and now I've had three next solo drops consecutively, or kind of, within 11 next solo next solos which is just fantastic again that's the first time i've received a pernix uh, body next soloing i'm over the moon right now so happy and uh, that's going to add to my drop log nicely in case i haven't updated you i am actually planning right now on uh, tracking probably 100 uh, next solo kills potentially then moving on to 500 but we'll see how it goes uh, that's absolutely absolutely epic whoa what the heck what the heck what the heck? What just happened? <laughs> gains! RNG gains! Oh my god. Yes! Yes! That is ridiculous, man. <laughs> what the hell? This look, oh my god. I'm just about to start the easy uh, Dungeoneering task set, uh, so the Achievement Diaries, and I'll update you as soon as I've completed all the easy ones. Not sure how long this is going to take, but I'll also update you with how long it's taken me. First one completed, uh, where you literally just have to walk past this guard into the wilderness, and that's the first task I have now completed on the easy Dungeoneering task set. And I should have this done, I reckon, within the next hour or so. I'm going to do the easy task set and the medium. Um, so hopefully I'll complete these soon so I can start off the Dungeoneering floor with um, extra runes right at the beginning so I don't have to make laws every time so that's going to speed up my DG floors. So I've just looked up the rewards which are pretty cool. Uh, obviously you get the aura uh, straight away. Well, whilst one, uh, you have one consequence of death per day so you can obviously take or death. Um, you get a weird Heimkrab cosmetic override. 
Uh, you have the ability to choose which boss you want to fight once per day as long as you've got that open to use. So the two best rewards in my opinion for the easy task set is firstly you're allowed to use a secondary option within the Ring of Kinship. Uh, you can use 25% of it. So for example uh, to be the most efficient in dungeoneering in your floors um, it's best to have a Celestial Catalytic Staff um, in, within your bind setup as well as a Sagittarian Shortbow. You will be using your Sagittarian Shortbow uh, the most out of everything. Um, but um, you will occasionally have to uh, switch over to your celestial, celestial and use a magic setup, for example, against melee warriors. That's a prime example of where you'd have to do it, or where bosses that are uh, immune to range attacks. Um, so that's really helpful because you'll be able to set your ring of kinship 25% over to the uh, mage setup as well as the desperado range setup. So it's a really good, um, I think that's a fantastic benefit for completing the easy task. Okay, all I need to do is start one of these sagas and uh, by speaking to Skaldron and then I've completed the easy task set. And there we go guys, the easy task set is completed now, Demonheim Aura 1 obtained. So this is a really cool option with the aura once per day, um, when you've completed the easy task system you can choose what boss you'd like to encounter as well. And this is going to come in really useful for me completing my medium task now, because I'm going to click yes and to complete my medium task I do need to kill uh, the boss called Ramanaut. One of the hardest, I'd say, most frustrating tasks so far in the task system out of the easy and the medium is a beast mode, uh, where essentially you've got to gather all of the resources on the critical path within that DG floor. And the critical path, if you don't know, is the main um, the main route within that dungeon that leads either to the boss or leads to the keys that will eventually get you to the boss. Um, so eventually I managed to complete that challenge by following the right critical path and gathering all the resources. A good way of doing this is actually just to get some mates together uh, within the team. You can gather the resources a lot quicker and get through that task. Another annoying task is the um, portent of passage where you've got to use a portent of passage on a door that you cannot access that essentially is a higher level than your skill level. And a lot of the DG teams that I go in were all maxed out because it makes it a lot quicker the floor in terms of analysing the critical path, things like that. Uh, but basically you just get a team together, get your mates to shout out when they come across a door that requires a higher level in that skill, get your point of passage made and use it on the door. Okay, handing in my uh, final dungeon challenge before 107, oh my god, let's do this. There we go, 261k XP and 107 DG. 2.7 million off 108, I'm pretty certain I'll get that in a couple of days. I'm well happy about that guys, I've just got a uh, clue scroll elite from a minion which I'm really happy about right now because that's going to add to my loot tab, I suppose, because I'm doing like a loot from 10 Scallion Keys, and I might just add that one in there as a bonus and get third age die. Definitely. Guys, just got a War, War Priest of Saradam in Greaves drop uh, from Ziliana. So I think that is my full Saradam in War Priest set completed. 115 finished on our side there. New personal record, 1 minute 19 seconds. Let's knock off another 10 seconds off that, guys. We can do it. Let's do it. This was Rise of the Six with viewers, three randomly picked out of the Twitch chat, two Bilbs and Dry Cat. It was a fantastic evening of Rise of the Six with viewers on stream. Definitely will be doing it in the future. Just want to say as well, if you can relate to this, it's a fantastic feeling when you get some guys together who completely connect really well together. And within Rise of the Six, it just felt so smooth, these kills, without team speed, without Skype or anything. They, they were one of the smoothest kills I have ever experienced at Rise of the Six. We had people jumping over the size just to get extra DPS on Carols, even when it wasn't needed, but it was just that extra DPS. Fantastic thinking, very innovative, and if you want to see these kills live, then I'll leave the link in the description below. However, the music will be muted due to the Twitch rights. That didn't just happen. That did not just happen. Have How the heck have I just got another next solo drop? How in the world have I just got another next solo drop? Oh my god, I've got to make a video of this soon. This is ridiculous RNG right now. First kill of today's next solo trip. Sub overload kill. One siphon blood phase. Virtus book drop. That's how you do it. So I'm going to take Serenic as a switch for Zara's phase. Oh, okay, I'm going to switch to Serenic now.
Alright guys, so I've just switched to my Serenic, so let's see how much I get here. Get that Serenic Helm on. I'll try and remember to put my Ring of Wealth on as well, if possible. This is ridiculous. Look at this tanking right now. I've never seen Next never hit me before. Look at this damage. It's reduced massively for some reason. That was the first big hit so far in Zaros, 1.5k. But usually I never see the shield come up. It never usually tanks completely, but the armor rating's working right now. Just a few small hits there. 11 hit, Jesus. A 1.5, that's quite big. No hit again. 1.6. No hit. 600, that's nothing. No hit again. Absolutely unbelievable. What I found there is really walking it, yes, is really good once you master it, but it's only really massively worth walking it when uh, next is soul splitting. Um, so it's really nice when you use a Death Swiftness on a Zaros phase to be able to stay in that Death Swiftness for the full amount of time, obviously. And when you're in that Death Swift, it's very nice to wear Serenic Armor, to be honest. It really is. You don't get hit that much at all. That way, that tug of war, you can build up to your thresholds quicker. But I'd say for the rest of the kill before that, definitely uh, superiorly void, and especially on phase one and two, otherwise she will MD you anyway. All right, okay, I'm just gonna explain what's just happened here, okay? Um, this guy here, DTP, he's on my friends list, and um, also makes some YouTube videos as well, uh, so shout out to him. Uh, but in general, uh, he invited me this morning to go and do Virago with him, and I was like, you know what, this is my FK editing video time, but you know what, due to your insane RNG at Virago, he is known for his RNG at Virago, uh, that I am going to join his team, <laughs> why the hell not? End up going, um, and within this kill, my Noxious Staff breaks, because I never check it before I go in for a kill. And I said to him, alright mate, I'll join because of your elite RNG, and believe it or not, second kill in, he receives a seismic one drop. Thank you, DTP, for that 89 million split. Now, I've got enough GP, I think, to repair my Nox staff. Alright, I'm going to wrap this video up here, this episode. Whilst I'm at the Abyss, grinding out my 120 magic, I have literally been here the entirety of this afternoon whilst editing this video. And as you can see in the top right-hand corner, I have now managed to track 25.2 million magic experience since I started on this grind and I've oh my god I cannot believe the coincidence right now 80 million XP has now been achieved in magic yes guys I can't believe that 80 million magic experience has now been achieved 24.2 million XP now off 120 magic 73% of my way there I am almost there guys I reckon I'll be able to get that now in about two weeks and if I chill out three weeks but I've managed to gain about 10 million experience over the past week so it's definitely within my grasp now in terms of future goals and the plan of this series I'm gonna keep going on with the way this series is going I'm really enjoying it and guys leave your feedback in the comment section down below I'm trying to link my twitch to my YouTube as much as possible so if you want to see all of this footage live before the videos even come out then be sure to check out my Twitch channel uh, schedule is there and I'll also post YouTube videos of when I go live and of course I then mash all of these clips together in this really concise jam-packed video full of a week's progress on RuneScape 3. Future episode will be carrying on with my next solo grind building up my drop log of 100 kills moving on to also DG currently 2.3 million experience off 108 DG I reckon I might achieve 109 by the next progress video maybe even more we will see um, and also I've been doing that live as well so be sure to check that out the progress will carry on over the next episode on my grind to 120 magic trying out various bosses potentially some slayer in the next episode I will see you all then or on my live stream take care guys and happy skating what the? Why is Goblin Mask on there? That's not a legitimate vote. We've got 39 votes for Goblin Mask. <laughs>